One, two, one, two. Well, this is just a test. This is just a test, and I, because it's just a test, I must say that I know all the answers and that I am winning. Long Beach. Stop your podcast. That's losing. Winning. Hashtag. I'm put my sunglasses on so I can feel cool. And that was- super close to come to the Bahada uh, Trail, which is different from all the rest of them in that it is wheelchair accessible. And it's short. I just did the loop pretty easily, pretty quickly, but it gives you little like information about all the different desert plants, which I really liked. And you can get in the park, but fewer and farther between. These are a lot closer together. Uh, that I liked. There's also no one here, but it's really, really Oh, I know. The other thing is, it's before you ever have to pay. So, not that I'm encouraging people to not pay to go to the national parks, but let's say you're not rich and you still want to go. At least experience it on your way to, let's say, Phoenix or something. I don't know. It would definitely be something to come by and check out. All right. So, we're saying goodbye to our desert BLM land home, or at least it has been home for the last couple days. We're headed over to Arizona. Um, I feel like we're already in Arizona with the amount of desert that's here, but uh, I'm excited. We're actually going to head back first to get a sticker for our door from Joshua Tree because it's actually super close. So we're going to grab that and then we'll be on our way. It is a travel day. Luna will have to be doing her work on the road. better than regular school. Yay! Okay, yay. When Chris first brought up this whole RV life concept, first of all, I totally was not into it. I was not going to do it. It sounded like a dream, but besides that, one of the main things I complained about was the idea of having um, a black tank. Like, ugh. And yeah, it sucks. Uh, he promised me that I would never have anything to do with it, and he, he has kept to his promise, uh, begrudgingly perhaps, but he's kept his promise. Um, right now, he's dealing with that black tank for here in Joshua Tree. It's only $5 to dump, which is actually pretty good. I've been looking at different websites as far as what else is around. $10 seems to be the going rate. Uh, so $5 to dump sounds great. There also seems to be potable water. I am a little concerned about it. It says domestic tank. What does that mean? There's no internets here. I cannot look it up. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll fill it up and if uh, we find something disgusting about it, we drain it and put something new in it. I don't know what we're gonna do, exactly. But yeah, so here's to hoping we don't all get E. coli. So we're off to Phoenix today. We were able to stop by and get um, the sticker from the Joshua Tree. Also get our dump done. Nice, we're gonna add that to our door collection. Uh, So yeah, now it's just a long drive down I-10 headed straight towards Phoenix. More heat. Tubing. What's that, baby? More heat, we're headed towards more heat. But yeah, this time it's going to involve water, which changes everything. Yes, exactly. Complaining. I loved Tasha Tree and our site. Our site was awesome. I liked it all. I had a good time. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Back to the internet, and I have learned something new, which is that domestic water is like for 
domestic things like drinking and bathing and etc. And therefore, totally okay to put in your RV. I so could have told you that. I know. Just needed the internet to tell me that. And the internet has confirmed that we will have E. coli. Because as you mentioned, we all have E. coli. It's about, yeah, anyway. But we will not get sick from our water. Okay? Yeah. Outside, it's 109. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no, indeed. All right, so at 103, well, at least 103, it might have been hotter than that, uh, our truck started to get a little warm. So we pulled over for a minute. We uh, turned off the air conditioning and rolled down the windows and just kind of let it chill because we were going uphill. Um, and then it was fine pretty quickly. Right now, Chris is putting more water and kind of checking all the fluids and what have you. Um, so, you know, here's to hoping. I think everything will be fine. It's just because it's so hot. I, I'm overheating. Why wouldn't the truck? You know? Also, we're in Arizona. So we just filled up here in Arizona at three eleven versus the four dollars and eleven cents on the cheap side that we were playing in California. So this is really nice. Got to fill Shirley all the way up. Uh, did a little, or sorry, <laughs> got to fill the burn all the way up. Got to do a little bit of uh, filling up of fluids too, which means I have white windshield wiper fluid. Finally, uh, that's gonna be nice. Put the bugs out of the way. Filling out the front window. Here we are, that's downtown Phoenix right now. Clearly full-fledged in Arizona. All right, we're in Mesa, which is closer to where we're gonna end up staying. Uh, and it's dark. I mean, it's only seven o'clock-ish. But we didn't make it here in time to really be able to see the space that we're going to end up in. And I have concerns about that. But you know what? Every time I have concerns about something, it tends to turn out okay. So perhaps I'm just like good jujuing us into an awesome site. However, if it's a crappy site, remember that I said this. Continuing with the library tour, we just dropped Luna and Kat off at the Apache Junction Library. Which which looks very desert themed because, well, it's in a desert. So I guess it makes sense. Driving back to our campsite uh, that is near Apache Junction. We just kind of stocked up on Walmart and we took some Walmarts back with us. And I got three Walmarts just for me. Okay, three Walmarts for Chris, one for me, two for Luna. And uh, we are going to go stock up our place, maybe make it a little nicer and more inviting for when we have to pick up the Luna. I don't know. That's my plan. What about you? Hmm. I'm going to put away groceries. Putting away groceries. But also that view. So, uh, as Kat just said, this is a hell of a place to fall down to your death taking a selfie. <laughs> so, uh, that's our goal. No death. Hashtag no death. No death. We can fall this way. Yeah. It's an easy slope. Yeah. We'd just be covered in cactus. Oh, it would not be easy for that reason. Oh my god, this is amazing. Look down here.
beginning to drive during the day, but I think it's actually good to drive at night, especially when we're going uphill in a hundred and something degree temperature. I'm sure Laverne loves it. Yeah, but Laverne would love seven in the morning as well. Yeah, well, I mean, Laverne would not, because Laverne would have hated if I was mad. <laughs> and Laverne she, understands yeah, Laverne, how you're feeling. You know, it's like if you're mad riding a horse, the horse knows. <sighs> No. No. Here's the problem. Like, it's 3 p.m. The hottest part of the day as we're driving, and so when, anytime we have to get out, it's death. And yeah. then the other problem, well, the the um, overheating. Yeah. Was clearly we overheated issue. once. Uh, I, I didn't catch it on camera, but it, it was just for one quick second. We'd stop, you know, turn off the air conditioning, and we were fine. Um, as soon as we got back on a flat line, we land, we turn the air conditioning back on, and it never overheated again. I mean, um, that's just what you get when you're going to hot areas. And it's kind of a heat wave, even for the area. Mm -hmm. We're at a place where it's 100 degrees right now. Um, it's but it'll be, right now, it'll be 81. Yesterday. In like three days. When we overheated, and I got proof of this, it was 109 degrees outside. How? But, wow. No. It was, yeah. Oof. But, uh,. But yeah, so, so wait, 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 hold on. So the other, so here's the other consequence of the fact that we always get ready late and leave late is when we got to the campsite, it was dark, mm -hmm. and so luckily we had a, I'm gonna say resident of the the BLM land. So it's there. not even BLM. That's just an informal campground at the okay. beginning of the Apache Trail uh, National Forest, or is it called uh, the Tonto National Forest? Right. Um, over by Tortilla Flats and I'm pretty sure that's the same guy that was mentioned as in we met some people who lived here kind of permanently uh, yeah. on I Overlander I bet yeah. you that was the same guy I agree which he tried to help us figure out where we were gonna go which was nice mm -hmm. but also um, maybe I don't say anything about like how perhaps this person does illicit substances no he might have been a tweaker or like he mm, he's a tweaker and so there's a feeling of unsafeness a little bit in regards to our stuff or whatever but he seemed really nice you just you know never trust a tweaker yeah yeah never but you know we locked everything up so hopefully we are good there yeah so there are, were other people well there are other people in tents there and an rv and an rv that also dogs. looks like it stays there yeah it's full permanently. of permanently full of dogs that want to bark at our dog uh and so i'm kind of going into all the negative parts of it but there'll be there'll be positive ones as well that's a great spot it's beautiful the generator is what the issue is because yeah. because there are other people there it feels mean to turn it on you know we're gonna I mean? play it by ear the other generators the other uh rv spots around here allow generators and they yeah. say just you know call them out put you know at nighttime uh, turn them out and so once it gets cool we shut it off and uh because it's really running air conditioning keeping the refrigerator it, cold as possible right um but you know we're doing make it so that i can live because mm -hmm. honestly if i just had to sit in a baking rv i'd be very sad Oof. i've done that I'm, I'm using a spray bottle let's be real it's yeah. getting a little warm and so i'm using a spray bottle and letting the mist and the fan do its its job and it's actually helped quite a bit i woke mm -hmm. up last night but Two in the morning-ish. Yeah, we walked outside. It was cool. It was nice outside, but it's just it's a little warm inside. But after that spray bottle, yeah. I was I was good. I'll tell you, Kit, nine -nine. Kit does really good at retaining heat. Yeah. We're gonna like her in the winter. Hopefully, we're retaining cold too. You never yeah, know. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, there's Luna. We just drove out to towards the Tortilla Flats on the, uh, the Apache Trail Road, and we found this amazing spot. It's, it's a huge canyon. Uh, gorgeous like uh, it's every time I look at it I'm like it's gonna be like Grand Canyon because I'm, I'm comparing everything to to that but this yeah. view with the green and then we saw the lake it's just fabulous hold we, on we wanted to we wanted to get out in order to capture some uh, uh, footage of the green lichen and yeah. such that was there uh, but it was gorgeous it was like we got up to the edge there were a few cactus there that hurt Lucifer but other than that we got up to the edge okay and then okay. Luna got back. And then I got back. Yay! Yes. Oh my god, so cute. Um, I have no idea exactly. I think it's a storage yard that just happens to have super cute, like, fronts.
Hey, what just happened? I just found twenty dollars. Okay, here's the thing. My husband is the one who finds everything because he looks down all the time, and I look at the world, or I don't know, but I don't look down. I did this time. We're in a shanty town. There is no one around. There is no way that I can return this twenty dollars. It is mine. It is karmically mine. Mmm, rest. Mm. I can be an actress too. Or an actress. <laughs> I know. Do not touch. Like an Undertaker and Bill Bondsman? Yeah. Undertaker. I didn't even see that. Oh my god. Two oh for one god. mother in law special. It means people. It was a trash. Because of uh, you know disenfranchisement yeah. and the system that's designed to put me behind bars. Yes, because of that. Hot bath two cents, only water extra. <laughs> On this site in 1897, nothing happened. <laughs> For some reason, it says Phoenix up Phoenix here. Is that way. Oh my God! Is it directing me to Phoenix? Like, get the f out of Mesa. Or maybe it's a, an inequality sign saying that Phoenix is better. Phoenix is better than Mesa. We don't know. One of these Mesa things. Is less than Phoenix. Yeah. Oh, but that's the same thing. That's what I said. Yeah. Okay. Bye. It's a wild horse. It's like a wild stallion. Wild stallions! <laughs> 